Doing the job that I do, I am all too aware of all the hazards and dangers that can fall in your way when you're out on the roads, no matter where you are. And sometimes fate has a very horrible card waiting for you and there is absolutely nothing you can do about it. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Wednesday. Hope you're doing all right. As I said, I certainly am. Look at that view in the window behind me. It's glorious. Well, that's glorious, but what I'm about to tell you isn't so much. And uh, I'm not sure about that bus there trying to squeeze behind my car. That's the trouble with filming on a main road, I suppose. Well, main roads, this is the thing, isn't it? There's always something out there that could go wrong. You could end up having a crash. You could end up losing control of your car. You could end up having someone hit you. There's various things that could go wrong and the consequences vary depending on where and how it happened. I myself was involved in quite a nasty accident at the beginning of uh, 2020. I used to own a big Renault traffic people carrier and driving home on the M26 one day uh, somebody decided to lose control of their car. I tried to get out of the way with not much success. This guy crashed into me and sent me into the side of a parked Volvo at 50 miles an hour. Quite loud, quite scary. One thing I understood from that experience was a combination of factors played out which involved me still being here to record this video i'm one of the lucky ones but uh doesn't always work that way check this out twenty four years old a young lady by the name of talia roberts is no longer with us because her car went careering into a tree at ninety miles an hour and killed her at the scene. As you probably know, when your car suddenly stops from the speed it's doing down to next to nothing, you're still traveling at the speed your car was doing for an instant. And in Talia's case, that didn't do her any favors at all. One, because she hit the tree at 90 miles an hour, and two, she wasn't wearing a seat belt. That's what did it, and according to the inquest, she died of severe chest injuries received. And looking at her car, one of the tyres on the Ford Fiesta she was driving actually had a nail in it, which deflated the car tyre pressure down to a level which made it dangerous. And there was obviously some kind of loss of control, and she went into the tree, nothing she could do about it. Poor, poor girl. I'm not going to sit here and preach about wearing seatbelts and everything else, but that's what they're there for, to save your life. And if only she was wearing it, could it have been different? Who knows? But absolute waste of life. She had a new job, moved into a new home, and had her whole life ahead of her. Such a cruel twist of fate. Condolences to her family and friends. And uh, let's hope we don't hear too many more of these stories. The roads can be a very dangerous place after all, especially with the smart motorways as well, taking out a perfectly usable hard shoulder to squash in more traffic. And there's other things all over the place. Take care on the road, folks. And this is me signing off. Toodaloo.